All right, welcome back to DOS Labs. We're going to talk about CD, which is change directory, change folder, and MD, make new directories. So I'm going to start out going by start, going into the run, put in CMD, that will take you to the command prompt. And then also I'm going to open up Windows Explorer so you can kind of see where we're at. So right now, by default, it puts us in the current user that we're in. So I'm going to go here. So if I did a directory listing, which is basically using Computer Explorer and uh, clicking on the folders, you can see here these folders match these folders. So in DOS, we call it directories. In Windows GUI, we call it folders. Same thing. So now if I want to go all the way up to the root of the hard drive, just to the hard drive itself, here I would type in cd backslash. So now if I did a dir, you would see the same folders here. So now if I wanted to make a new folder in Windows Explorer, I go right click, new, and just type in the word new. DOS, I would just type in MD and uh, you can see here it popped up and now here if I do a directory listing again you can see so if I want to go into a new folder I would just type in CD new one and then do a directory listing And that would be like the same thing as going in here. All right. So if we want to go, if we want to make a new folder in here, we can right click. And new. I'm just going to call it number two, just for sake of easy, easiness. So now if I do a directory listing, you can see I have the folder two. So now if I want to go in folder 2, I would type in CD2. So now we're actually in the same location now. If I want to go back to the root here, I would do CD backslash enter. So now if I wanted to go to new folder, and inside new folder 1 to folder 2, I would type in CD backslash new one backslash two and that would get me in the same place of going like this now if I want to go just a new folder if I want to go up one so like here if I want to go inside new one that's what I would do here I would do CD dot dot and that takes you up one folder so if you do cd dot dot, it will take you one folder up close to the root. If you do cd backslash, it will take you all the way to the root. So I want to show you another specific thing here. So let's say now I'm on the E drive. So I have two hard drives. And let's say I want to go to, I want to create a new folder inside uh, new. I would type in md. Backslash new backslash and I'm going to call this folder three. So now here, if we go to the C drive, go new, you can see there's folder three. And if I go back to the so using the MD command, you don't always have to use the drive letter, but if you're not in the same drive letter location. Then you need to specify if I would have, when I was in the E drive, I would have put MD uh, forward slash new forward slash three. And that would have put it in the E drive, not in the C drive. So you have to specify. And by doing the MD from the root, this is the root folder that we already created. And then inside that's where we want to create the folder or directory. So that's a couple easy little tricks with. Uh, creating folders and changing directories. So now if I wanted to go into a new folder, it 
folder 3, I would do CD backspace 3. So now let's say I want to go change the directories and go into folder 2. I would do CD backslide. So that would take me to the root. And then I want to go into new folder 1 backslash 2. And voila. Alright, that's a quick little guide on how to use DOS using the change directory command. Alright, thanks for watching.